Today we're going to talk about how to optimize your Pro Tools system utilizing voice allocation. So over here on my right I have my system usage menu. I have an HD system and it's showing I'm using 93 of 96 voices. So we want to lower that count as much as we can to get as much power. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to look for tracks that are not playing at the same time and assign them to the same voice. So here's a great place to start. We have a stereo drum loop occupying two voices. And when that ends, we have two tracks taking up two voices, our room mic and our ride from our live drum set. That part begins. So you can see where one stops and the other starts. So we're going to assign the drum loop to voices A1 and 2. And then our ride track to voice A1. And our room mic to voice A2. So now all of these tracks are sharing two voices. So we've lowered our voice count from 93 to 91. And each track can be processed independently of the others, kind of like if you did a fader molt on a console. Our guitar solo only happens on the outro, so we've made that A5 and 6. And the staccato violin part is in the bridge. We're going to make that 5 and 6 also. At the top of the session in blue, there's an edge guitar. We've done that because that's in verse 2. And now we have another stereo pair that we can make A5 and 6, our intro strings, since they're not playing at the same time. So our voice count started at 96, and now we're down to 82 by sharing some voices. 